Hello everyone, it's me the movie reviewer now. I never thought I'd make a video like this, but uh, after seeing this movie, I thought I should. You know how Keanu Reeves is everyone's, you know, all-time favorite, uh, wholesome Chungus, uh, your breathtaking guy. But as some of you might know, he has a few movies under his belt that aren't quite up to par with his reputation. My girlfriend and I were like, let's watch a movie, have some good food. You know, it was gonna be a nice night. And we saw Keanu Reeves, the Knock Knock movie, and we thought, wow, let's. this looks interesting, let's watch it. So I thought we'd enjoy this together, and um, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> so let's make this a bit more, the same is a bit more appropriate here. There you go, movie time, baby. So the movie starts off with uh, four production companies. Think of that as you will. First thing you see is them macking in bed, basically, like a couple of teenagers. And then the wife, as they're making out, uh, hurts his shoulder. Oh! Just an instant exposition to uh, his ouchie. You know, it must be important. Basically, they, they dirty talk for a bit and then they're interrupted by their perfect family and their perfect kids. Everyone's so freaking happy. I hope nothing happens. <laughs> Monster! Monster made kids disappear. And Monster wanna finish what we started. Too late. The kids are awake. Monster sad. Monster been waiting three weeks. Monster horny. That's unfair. Knock knock. That's the name of the movie. Hey Louis! Hey guys, hot off the presses. One of the end. So for those that are wondering who Lewis is, um, basically he's the guy that just barges in whenever he wants. <laughs> okay, so to summarize real quick what the, the, like, the premise is, is that the mom is an artist. She has a big statue thing for her art exhibit, and uh, you know, it's a big thing coming up. And Lewis is her assistant or some shit, I don't know. And uh, they're going to go on vacation, that her and the kids, while the dad stays home and works all weekend because he has a deadline to meet. That's it. I don't worry about anything. I got it all under control. You have a good weekend at the beach, enjoy yourself, I'm out. So you see that acting just there, very basic. This is the best acting you'll see in the movie. Lewis is the best actor in this movie somehow. Uh, I love him, he's great. I told Vivian tomorrow at two. I don't need her therapy anymore, it's healing. Tell that to your shoulder. So they bring up the, the shoulder again, which means like, it's probably really important, right? We'll keep that in mind. Put that in the brain compartment, because. The, the shoulder, the shoulder, guys. So now our boy is home alone for the whole weekend. Now his family's finally settled at the, the beach place or some shit. I don't know. Hey, baby. How's the house? Hi, it's perfect. Look, kids, say hello to your dad. What I fucking... <laughs> no, sorry. What I don't like about certain movies is they seem to forget that iPad cameras on FaceTime aren't like cinema grade fucking like red cameras with like depth of field that is like insane have you did you see this that's insane stop doing that have your actors actually call each other on facetime <laughs> now they have to track that footage on the ipad there's so, so our boy was having a good night about to smoke some uh and then uh, they he here's a at the door who else but two lovely yes. hot ladies at the door? Wet. They came up with this bullshit. And eh, we need to use your phone. Okay, they, they come in. So basically, he lets them come in, you know, make a phone call, and then he dries their clothes and shit, and then he offers to call them an Uber, but it's gonna be there in like 40 minutes. Oh my god, what to do in these 40 minutes, you know? This is so retarded. Whoa. <laughs> now we got some context, and the ladies are both called uh, Belle and Genesis. Like, like the, the beginning, beginning of time. time. So after putting their clothes in the dryer, he comes back to what seems like the most obvious porn setup <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, sorry. We were trying to warm up. <laughs> so they decide to talk for a bit, you know, what else to do in this situation. Uh, and then they talk a lot about sex, uh, you know. I remember I fucked this model one. Kind of guys you fuck when you're 14. You must have sex <laughs> like all day. It's just sex. I mean, who'd want to fuck that? And they also keep making our loyal husband, uh, Evan, and his name's Evan, by the way, for, forgot to mention that, um, by, you know, just like touching him a lot. And uh, so he keeps moving seats as they talk because they keep getting close and touching him. And it's just this weird, awkward dance around the room. <laughs> so then they reveal that they are flight attendants and they travel a lot. And that's why they, they're so wild and crazy. 
I just realized right now that this whole scene of them talking and talking about sex and being like awkward is like around 10 minutes. Holy shit, man. So Evan notices there's only five minutes left for his Uber to arrive and stuff. One of the girls gone somewhere, I don't fucking know. Then he shows the other girl some music that he's done and then they end up dancing together and then they almost kiss only to be interrupted by the Uber driver. A close one, man. You almost ruined your family and life. So, you know, so they go get dressed and stuff like that and then... And then... Guys! Guys, the car's outside. Guys, I have your clothes. They're pretty much dry. All right, I'm coming in. I'm not looking, so... <laughs> Surprise! What the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna tell the driver that you're coming out. Get dressed. Now. Please. It's all a secret. Whoa, well, stop. We're all adults here. I'm flattered. I can't. Please, get dressed. Happy Father's Day. Mm. Mm. <laughs> in this shot of the family <laughs> as he's getting blown oh my god bro they just basically sexually assault him you know then we get a quick montage of them you know having sex uh, we're almost 40 minutes in the movie at this point and this is a thriller by the way this is a thriller movie let's make sure let's just make sure thriller horror yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a thriller slash horror we're 40 minutes in the movie i have not been spooked once so then he finally wakes up in the morning, you know, no one's in his bed, and then he gets a shit ton of messages from his wife uh, because he slept in. And then he realizes they're still in his house, and they're acting like little monkeys. <laughs> he then uh, has a FaceTime call from his wife, he goes outside, and then you can see them just like, you know, mooning in the back and shit like that. Like, they're just really, they're, they're quite a nightmare. Get up, and get dressed, go! <laughs> the fuck are you doing his wife's art thing oh my god i'm calling the fucking police and then he no, tells I him that he's gonna call the cops and stuff like that and then they reveal what the fuck is so funny i just have a funny story for them it's called to catch a predator that they're underaged this went from a cheating story to ow to him being basically like a child rapist and potentially destroying his life and family. So now the, the therapist Vivian's here. Uh, you know, she, 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 she was brought up earlier because, you know, his shoulder. Remember his shoulder? His shoulder? His shoulder is hurt? Yeah. And one of the girls comes outside and really makes it known that, you know, he's hooking up with them. This is really upsetting, okay? But this is really, this is upsetting, okay? Vivian. It's upsetting! He's in deep shit, really. He's in deep shit. So then after a little altercation, <laughs> he actually calls the cops. They realize he's not messing around. He's not bluffing. So they you know they ask for a ride home and then they go home. So all's good, you know, Evan's cleaning up the kitchen, you know, removing any evidence that he uh, fucked kids. <laughs> then he also takes time to clean his uh, wife's sculpture thing, like a good husband, you know? So we're all good, right? Every, everything's g wrong. He's doing his own thing, you know, going back to work and then he hears some glass break. What is that? Oh my god. <laughs> he then wakes up tied to his bed. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the point of this? I don't I don't know, man. So you know he's tied to the bed because uh I don't know. Look what I found. You take that off. That's my daughter's. You take that off. Take those off, you fucking crazy bitch! <laughs> well said, man. Okay. Oh my god. Remember that night when we were all alone and you snuck into my room? Then it reveals that she was like abused by her father uh, as a child, which is just tragic. Uh, and I totally get movies trying to make you uncomfortable. Uh, and it's really succeeding. <laughs> you know, editing Flash here, uh, I just rewatched a part of the movie that I, I didn't notice that the first time. But listen to what she says here. I only did that to mommy because I wanted you all to myself. I think, I think she killed her own mom? I think she killed her mom because she was in love with her dad. Anyways, messed up stuff, let's keep going. So then they, they set up a phone and they record him having sex with her. Fuck me, daddy! Fuck me like you fuck your little daughter! Mm. Ah. Mm. Doggy style, Belly. 
So he finally gets her off, uh, gets her off of him, and she starts whining like a fucking puppy. <laughs> he then charges Genesis with the strength of a thousand men, and then she overpowers him with a fork and sticks it right in his injured shoulder. No. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you know all those shots of the shoulder and all the mention of the shoulder and stuff. Yeah, that was for this this moment only. That was the only reason all those shots were there, so she could stab him in that injury. Wouldn't just being stabbed by a fork be enough? Do you need to add the injury here? All those like references to it? Like just have him be stabbed by a fork. He's passed out once again. <laughs> then he wakes up on a chair and then they play a fun little game. Welcome to America's favorite game show. Who wants to be a pedophile? So then basically every time he gets an answer wrong, he gets uh, like static, loud stuff in his ears. God damn God! God! Stop! 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 My ears! My ears! I'll go deaf! Go deaf! <laughs> well, this is the best acting I've ever seen in my entire life. I'll go deaf! I'll go deaf! We don't know who's to blame. Is it the actor? Is it the script writer? Or is it, you know, the director? The directing can have a lot of impact on how an actor delivers their line. Like, you know, this one, for example. I hear you whispering. Plan on murdering me in my sleep. What? No. So they then reveal by with a question that they've done this to other people before. And uh, oh, who's that? Who who is this? You must be Lewis. <laughs> it's Lewis, my favorite. I hope nothing happens to him. And then Lewis sees uh, the statue, and it still has graffiti on it. But I thought that Evan cleaned it. Why would he go back to work? If there was still so much shit on it, I, I, whatever. I'm calling the cops right now. This could be our little secret. Bitch, you barking up the wrong fucking tree. I'm from Oakland, ho. I know two ghetto ass hoes when I see them. Come to think of it, Evan doesn't even have any fucking nieces. Who the fuck are you? Yo, he's my favorite fucking character, man. I love him so much. So I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the movie, um, Lewis takes a, a hit of uh, asthma. Gas <laughs> takes a little hit of his inhaler at the beginning, which is very subtle, which is how they should have done it with his shoulder, but whatever. So he gets a little asthma attack and then he fuck with his inhaler, then he fucking falls and dies. So now the only reason for me to watch this movie is dead. <sighs> you killed him! You killed him! Keanu, no. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just literally speechless. I don't know what to say about this. I wrote, I wrote notes down. But I just, like, there's nothing that can make me it's such a bad execution of that. You killed him! Ooh, what's in the vase? Maybe a better movie, hopefully? So then they put him in the trunk of a car or some shit. Then they write a text from Lewis to Evan implying that Evan fucked Lewis's wife. Then they get back to the game. Back to our million dollar question. What is the proper punishment for a pet? Correct answer is death. So they reveal they're gonna kill him now. So this went from I cheated on my wife to I fucked minors to I'm gonna fucking die. Uh. So now he goes a little, he goes a little crazy. Why, because I fucked you? You fucked me, you fucked me. You sucked my cock, you both fucking sucked my cock. It was free pizza, free fucking pizza. So he's now set to be executed, executed at dawn. dawn. Let's face it, Evan. You're a monster. Or should I say, monster? What? They spied on him and his kids. I can't believe it. <laughs> monster be Tommy. Hey now, what the fuck? Uh oh. So now they, they're playing a game that if they don't find him by sunrise, he gets to leave. <laughs> don't fucking move. And then he fucks it up once again. <laughs> then uh, dawn comes, and then they decide to basically bury him up to his neck, you know, like mentally stable people do. And then they give him a lifeline that if he calls his wife and admits he's cheating, um, they won't kill him. I'm sorry for what I'm gonna tell you. But... Call 911! Call 911! I hang up as soon as I hit voicemail. I knew you'd pussy out. And then just like that, he fucked it up once again. <laughs> knock, knock. That's the name of the oh! <laughs> oh my 
my god, it was only styrofoam or something. Where did they find that? Wouldn't he know? Like, if it was on his property? <laughs> so then they revealed that they weren't going to kill him. Uh, they're not underaged. They are, however, going to put the video they re recorded on Facebook. And now everyone knows that he fucked women. And yeah, they revealed that they, they did this because uh, they, you know, men, men ain't shit, basically. <laughs> everyone they've tried this with, they succeeded. And, you know, that proves something, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah now the movie's only he cheated it's not anything like oh he might be a pedophile or like oh my god i'm gonna die it was only oh i cheated on my wife so all the stakes are gone and now the movie's over yep this is my first time doing a movie movie review might be my last who knows <laughs> if you have seen this movie please let me know in the comments what you thought of it maybe you have a different opinion than me I thought it was garbage. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. It helps a lot with the algorithm. Uh, and, uh, yep. Thank you guys for watching. Have, have a good one.